and welcome to HealthyHouseplants.com, where we teach you all about gardening in the great indoors. If you'd like to support our show, please use our Amazon affiliate link below. Today, another viewer-inspired video. I really enjoy these videos. The ideas that come up are really great. Sometimes it's something I may have thought about in passing and forgot about. Uh, that was the case with this one. So Jasmine Carr, um, hopefully I said that right, she asked uh, on my video about are coffee grounds good to use on houseplants, she asked, uh, can I use tea instead of coffee? So tea grounds instead of coffee or tea instead of coffee. Just thought I'd ask as I don't drink um, coffee. Instead, I, I drink tea. So as a matter of fact, I don't drink coffee either. Uh, I do know people that do and they'll give me their coffee grounds sometimes, but I do drink a lot of tea. So actually this here right here that I'm going to be using in a second is my tea bags from today. So the uh, answer is yes, you actually can. I looked into it and found out, so these are my tea bags. I found out about it, uh, did, looked into it, did some research on it, found out that yes, indeed, it's a great thing to add to your houseplants in certain conditions. So I'm gonna go over that. So it turns out that tea and tea grounds are a good addition, as I just meant to, mentioned, to your houseplant soil if you don't drink coffee. <laughs> and you do drink tea, tea contains amino acids and tannic acids that can enrich the soil by lowering its pH, which also means increasing its acidity. So as it lowers pH, it increases acidity. And there are some plants that thrive on slightly acidic soil. So this isn't gonna be like a huge acidifier, like something like a, like soil sulfur would be, but it is a, it, 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 it will give the plants a low amount of um, acidity. Uh, and lower the pH some, which is perfect for certain plants. So some plants that you grow in your indoor garden that like this sort of soil, ferns, croton, like this beauty here, Chef Lara, and I also have a Chef Lara around here. I guess I didn't put it up here right now. It was on earlier. Begonia, orchids, spider plant, rubber plant, African violets, and philodendron. So pretty good list of plants that would be happy to have a little tea, to be served some tea from your kitchen. So brewed tea, to, so tea increases fertility as well as, um, as, as mentioned, as well as the altering pH a little bit. It acts as a fertilizer, a, a fertilizer with a low amount of nutrients to, to keep that in mind, but still a fertilizer. Brewed tea, tea has been shown to provide similar nutrients to that of many popular fertilizers. So it has 4.4% nitrogen, although it only has 0.25% potassium and 0.24% phosphorus. Phosphorus and potassium, so nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, and I have a video on it, the NPK and what it is. That is NPK, if you, if you read about NPK, and <clears throat> each of those those are the macronutrients that all plants need, and each of them has, very, has various functions. Phosphorus has the job of helping plants to root, fruit and flower, and is responsible for sturdy cell structure. Potassium is responsible for photosynthesis and water and nutrient management, so it isn't a, it, it isn't a substitute for fertilizing because of the lower amount of the potassium phosphorus. However, it does great with nitrogen, and nitrogen is what greens up plants and helps them grow. So it will help with that. Other benefits of tea, polyphenols, so these are micronutrients we find in plant-based foods. Tannic acid is one of the most common of these and it can offer different benefits to the soil. Theanine, an amino acid typically found in tea leaves um, and, all, and also in certain types of mushrooms. Antioxidants, so that prevents pow powerful protection for damage to, to cells in our bodies. It can also help plants, uh, protect plants as well. And then other vitamins and minerals uh, that may be found in there in trace amounts, uh, calcium, iron, magnesium, zinc. So those are some others that you will, that will be in there. The, those are micronutrients. Now, all, not all of this is absorbed by the plants. It's going to depend on the pH level of the soil. It's going to depend on the plants itself. It's going to depend on the tea, obviously. 
Uh, but you know, it's a fun thing to add. And also if you're, you want to be sustainable and uh, rather than a, although you can compost tea leaves and I do that as well. But if you, if you want to be, maybe you don't have a composter and you want to be sustainable and you want to do something for your good for your houseplants. And this is a great thing to do. So the various ways to do it, you can brew a pot of tea for your houseplants. So, you know, you could do that. You could say, would you like a spot of tea and go make your houseplants some tea? Uh, what you would want to do, uh, use one to two tea bags, let it sit for at least a few hours or even overnight. Uh, and you obviously want it to get to a cooler temperature. So room temperature, warm is okay. And then you would pour it over the soil itself and basically water with it. Okay. I don't have any tea in there, but just to give you the idea. So you can also use tea bags, which is what I do a lot because I drink so much tea as mentioned, right? So what I will often do is I will open up the tea bags. I'm going to do that right now here so you can see me move things over. So I will just simply open up the tea bags with my fingers. You can cut them open as you, if you want to just empty them, uh, throw away the tea bags themselves because they, unless they are ones that you know are going to biodegrade, then you don't, you don't want to mix this in, but you can do a really get a lot, quite a bit of tea. And then I will just throw away the bags and the bags will probably in a composter break down over time eventually. And green tea also works. Green tea and black tea. This is a green tea that I did right here. The other ones are blacks. Actually one is even an Earl Grey. As you can see, we got, we're getting a fair amount. Now this acts as a nice mulch. So what you can do, you can mix it into the soil a little bit. You can dig it into around the soil. You can just mulch with it. You could even mix a little bit in when you're repotting. Of course, this is some, somewhat of an experimental thing, right? So, okay, I got them all out of there. So that's a lot of it here. Uh, so you want to try to use it experimentally to try it on a house plant, see how the house plant does. Does it start to act? Does it, is it happy or is it starting to act weird afterwards? So, you know, use, uh, see how your, each of the plants do. Uh, you can bury the tea bags themselves, as long as the tea bag is biodegradable in the soil, that's one thing you can do. Easier, like I said, though, is to take it out of there and then you can just use it as a mulch even, which um, I talk about with the uh, coffee grounds as well. If you get anything growing on it, then obviously that's not great. So um, you'd want to take it back off again, if you maybe to in, in even a way to pre uh, prevent that mix it into the soil a little bit so it becomes a part of the soil like I just did. And then you would want to water it into, and I'll have to tell you with that Earl Grey, it sure made things smell good. So this is uh, something else is like I said, a, a, a nice way to add a little bit more nutrients to your, to your soil, to your plant, uh, and give it a little more attention. The, the uh, using it as a mulch too will keep the soil surface moist for longer. Help, it will help cut back on, on watering, as I talk about in video about uh, mulching your plants as well. And as mentioned, go ahead and keep an eye on it, see how the plant does. I'd start out small, start out with a little bit, uh, take a month or so, see if you, it looks like it's helping the plant, then great if you're not sure, but you really enjoy doing it, but the plant looks the same or it looks like it's doing just as well as it always has, you could continue to do it. And, and then you won't be throwing the tea bags away, but you will be recycling them basically. And it, it will break down into the soil, the, the good bacteria in the soil, the soil micro, microorganisms in the soil, they will go ahead and feed on this as well, which is great. So it creates that self-sustaining environment in your houseplants that I always talk about in your houseplant soil that I always talk about because the soil, the health of the soil is critical to the health of the roots and the roots are critical to the health, the up, up, above ground growth of the foliage on your plants. So there you go with, can you use tea grounds in your house plants? Thank you for stopping by today. Please leave any comments about any indoor gardening tutorials you'd like to see. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And please check the bell if you'd like to be notified when new videos are released.